Well, oh. <laughs> um, I had some crab for my dinner today. It was really fresh, but I've been walking sideways ever since. A couple of poems that um, a member of the Whitehorse folk group gave to me. They are pretty old, but um, I'll try and do a Pam Ayers voice with it. This is called The Moth. While cycling home last Friday, a moth flew up my nose. It fluttered round my nostrils and made my curl me toes. I'm having a bit of a job to say, but still. I fell down off my cycle and gave a mighty sneeze and bits of fluff and moth wings went floating in the breeze. It really was a spectacle, with me lying there, nettles in my knickers and cow muck in my air. So if you're cycling late at night, when moths do fly about, just shove a clothes peg on your nose and keep the beggars out. <laughs> Now, the next one is for Chris and Heather. I don't know if anybody's been following Chris on the internet with his hedgehog story. I have, yes. Um, and this is um, a poem about a hedgehog called Hester. I'm Hester. I'm a hedgehog with spikes all sharp and prickly. When I make love, it's with great care and very, very quickly. <laughs> I hide away in winter time, in compost dead and rotten, curled up in a cosy ball, me head round to me bottom. When spring arrives, it's then I wake and trundle round the garden, eating up the worms and slugs. <clears throat> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I do a really useful job and never am a pest. I love a drop of bread and milk and always does my best. Do spare a thought for hedgehogs, for you never know your luck. Could be me, your old friend Hester. Sorry, but it's underneath in the muck. <laughs> That's it, folks. <laughs>